Hey, actually, I was talking about you last night. You can fool a fool, but you can't fool a wise man. Yes. You the real thing. I try. Say, so, hey, ball, this is some good sage you got. This is the Kevin Gates helpline. I'm Kevin Gates. I'm accompanied by Booby Black. And what we're going to be doing today is taking calls from people all over the world. We're going to be aiding, assisting, lending wisdom, knowledge, and love to help them through whatever hardships that they may be encountering. Let me go piss right fast. Hey, look, I got this man face tattooed on me how many times? Twice. <laughs> That's honor. And I wear it like a badge of honor. <laughs> but what we got on the line, bro? Oh, man, let me check the decks and see what's happening. Oh, man, we got Gerard from um, Colorado. Put him in. Gerard, you on the phone with Kevin Gates and Booba. What's happening, baby? What's happening with you, Gerard, with the business? Is the... What up? What up? It's, like, really loud on your... I hear, like, a lot of static. Mm-mm, that's me lighting up this cigar. <laughs> you hear? Word, word, word. Word. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a college student, right? Last semester, I uh, met this chick. Then she seemed to be like way more invested in it than I was. She digmatized. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One time I like hung out with her and she saw like a remnants of like a hickey or whatever and flipped out. And so I would, I would just like say things and I was like, let's uh, you know, only see each other or whatever. And then that just kind of snowballed into a relationship. And then, Towards the end of the semester, I uh, kind of happened where I uh, hooked up with someone else, and uh, I feel really shitty about it, and no one knows about it. It don't matter how great of a person she is to you. It matters how great of a person she is for you. Right. So okay. if you're in a relationship and you trying to make the other person happy, that's insanity because you're an appeaser now. You're appeasing her. You're telling her what she wants to hear. I believe the best thing you can do is tell this person, hey, I really like you as a person, but this is what's going on. I need to make myself yeah. happy before I can make anyone else happy. You know, yeah. you got to let her know you're a big player, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yeah, brother. <laughs> but it's, it's more like, like, I'm just a huge pussy, and, like, I just can't mm -hmm. say no, and I... No, I you're not. Like no, you're not a pussy. You're, you're not, not a pussy. You just not. got a big heart, and you give a fuck, and you don't right. like to hurt other people. That's all. That's not you Damn. being a pussy. It's difficult because, like, I feel shitty about myself for doing that. Stop feeling like, shitty no. about yourself. We just gave you the blueprint. Yeah. You use that blueprint, and you're going to make it. It's not that hard, yeah, Jerome. Sure. Blessings on your journey, baby. Your thank you, me. thank you. Yes, sir. All right, all right, all right. Seems like Jerome want to be a player. A big player. But I don't think he can handle that, that foreign that passport gets stamped in all types of different countries. She mm. out the country with it, yes, you know. Lord. Somebody might be stamping that passport yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We I like him, though. He cool, bro. Yes, indeed. I yeah. like him. I live in Colorado. I moved here, you know, mm -hmm. so he, he yeah. going state to state. She just going this country to country. Yeah. Yeah. You moved here. She grew here. Grew here. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You, you knew flew here. here. He knew yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, you know I got one of these tattooed on my leg? Yeah. I love these little things. Mm -hmm. Who out there? Oh, we got Jennifer from South Carolina. You know what I'm saying? That's us. Oh, yes, Lord. Let's see. Let's see in this bitch. Yes, indeed. She, um, it put me out there. What's happening, Jennifer? You on the phone with Kevin and Boob. All right, so I am a millennial mom, born in 81, and I have two kids. I have a boy who's 15, I have a girl who's 13, and they are both obsessed with, like, social media, technology, and all these new words. And so I can no longer really uh, speak to them. <laughs> and then when I try to, I sound very uncool. So um, help me talk to them. Help me figure them out. Why don't y'all have a time where y'all get off social media and have family time and really establish that bond? Right, and we, we do some of that. Like, we play Cards Against Humanity because that's the only place where they can say cuss words. And so, like, I take out the really, really bad cards, so I leave all the ones with the bad words. And so when we play that, they get to say the bad words. 
But I just want to be able to also speak their language. There was that yeet thing, and now if I look nice, it's that drip. But my son says that to me, and I think I'm wet. It depends on what context is used in. It could mean that, but it could also mean something else. Yeah, it could mean a lot well, of things, really, yeah. What, yes, what else does drip mean? I mean, we're not about to get into all that because different things okay. mean different things other places. <laughs> I'm here to learn. Yes, ma'am, but you, you ought to <laughs> learn from the person that's speaking the language. Right, right. He's old as and he's his own You know, and if on with the thing, but I'm still with you tis on you, you know what I mean? I speak seven different languages. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so you can speak seven different languages. And that's all it is, is communication with your children, just asking them, hey, you know, I'm not really hip to a lot of the new words that's going on, because y'all teach me. And it's beautiful because it'll be fun because you're learning and they're, you're allowing them to be the teachers because our children are our greatest teachers. And I hope we answered your question. Oh, yes, thank you. I love the thought of them having multiple languages. That hadn't occurred to me. I think we're all speaking English. <laughs> mm, we're not. <laughs> yes. But blessings on your journey, Miss Jennifer. Thank you so much, both of you. Y'all have a fabulous day. She wanted us to teach her how to really go to the hood. It was Yeah, but it was beautiful for me because I got to use sarcasm. And that's something <laughs> I haven't displayed on the show just yet. I got to use sarcasm. I got to be witty. How do I feel? Some things can't be expressed in language. I'm one with my environment right now. And who we got next? Nikki from California. Little Nikki. Yeah, little Nikki. What's I knew a girl name? named Nikki. You remember Prince made that song? <laughs> <laughs> we'll put her in. Put it. Nikki, what's happening? You're on the phone with Kevin and Boobin. Okay, it's on. So what I wanted to talk about today um, is the issue of Schadenfreude. Have you heard this word? Because I just learned it a month ago. No, I haven't heard it. Could you expound? Yeah. So Schadenfreude basically describes the emotion of when you feel joy at someone else's misfortune or, on the other hand, feeling sad when others around you succeed. Wow. In my day, we used to call it being a hater. hater. Don't be a hater. A big old hater. I, I really think that we all experience this emotion on some level, no matter what. Ma'am, speak for yourself. I, I, well, I am, I guess. I thought it would be interesting to, like, talk to a celebrity, especially about this, because I think that you guys are on the receiving end of Shade and Freud a lot. There's a lot of people that I feel like, you know, waiting for celebrities to drop the ball or fail in some way, so that way we can be like, ha-ha! They have, okay. people, they have you know? people doing that even when you're not a celebrity. Right. They got <laughs> so it's not the celebrity exactly. thing they do. I think I was in prison. I was nominated for the Grammys, and I saw Drake get like 13 or 14 awards or something. I was like, man, wow, like one day, one day I'm gonna get 13 or 14 grand. Like that's how I look at it. Like one day I'm gonna, one day that's gonna be me. You think it's where we come from? Because yesterday, when I seen your truck, like, man, his like, truck's so cold-blooded. Man, I'm happy for him. I, I, I can't wait to see him in it. It's, it's like, you know, putting a little toy character in a toy truck and push him down the street. I'm happy, you know what I'm saying, as a kid. Where we come from, it's different. Like, when we see somebody in our section doing good, it's like we salute it, like, because we know what you went through to get it. Well, I want to be like you when I grow up. It's not that, you know, when, when you change your perspective, that's when miracles happen. When I feel that emotion, like, the next thing you're feeling is shame. And then it turns into the cycle of, like, beating yourself up. You're like, man, what's wrong with me? Why am I so insecure? What the hell? It's a beautiful thing that you have the ability to see negative behavior and correct it. But that's just an old programming that you just need to get rid of. Well, there you go, I guess. <laughs> this, why, like, there's the wisdom. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank All right, you. Baby. All right. I think she was trying to put us in a trap. I think she was really trying to, because she kept saying, now that I'm talking to a celebrity, why is the word celebrity you constantly using? She like, might have came with the wrong intentions, but she left with the right ones. <laughs> That's why I got this sick on my hand. I'm going yeah. a, I'm to a, I'm a take everything in. And I'm but a, Nikki got some. Nikki got some from yeah, us. Yeah, she did. Because you heard what she said? She said, when you say, yeah, that just looked like a hater. She said, I figured it was going to be something like that. You got what you was looking for, but not what you was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the day was like a, 
it was like a, 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 a bag of roaches that was everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So we could basically someone just like what directly happened today. We just knew it was just all type of different people coming from all type of different areas. And it was like really a challenge for me and Kevin today, you know what I'm saying? But I think we handled it well. It was fly. Yeah, it was I, real fly. For me, I say it was fly because I got to display different type of emotions that people don't mm -hmm. normally get to see. They they don't get to They're see sarcastic. me. They don't get yeah. to see my sarcasm. They don't get to see yeah. me being witty. But it's cool, you know, we live through life and we learn. Like the dude said, like Sonny said, I know I'm funny, but I'm not that funny. Yeah, I'm not that funny. <laughs> so why are you laughing? <laughs> I want to thank everybody for watching the Kevin Gates Helpline. I'm Kevin Gates. This is OG Booby Black. And if you need help with any of your issues, follow the details below. And let me leave you with this. You'll be amazed what you can get people to agree to if you just ask. For real, <laughs> for real. My, just, that reminds me, woo! <laughs>